Stay, please. Oh, just leave me alone. I'm an idiot. Third time lucky, I thought. You know, two failed marriages. You, you were meant to be the one. No, I am. I am the one. No, you're the one that cheated on me. <laughs> well, you shouldn't keep your customers waiting, Harry. It's bad customer service. No, I don't care about this anymore. 50 quid. Well, you're quite the bargain, aren't you? How long has it been going on for anyway? Oh, why does it matter? I've stopped. Okay, what matters is our future. Think of Leah and Lucas, they're our family. Don't you dare bring the kids into this, okay? Now, from now on, you're not going to go anywhere near them. Just go home. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing it. Okay, it's like... No, it's, it's like I need to, like it's some sort of addiction. No, you don't get to do that, OK? I know about addiction, and this is not the same. Can you just hear me out, OK? I'm a messed up person, I know I am. But the guilt of what happened to Amy drove me to do terrible things, and I wanted... I wanted to punish myself. <laughs> OK, but I can be a good person, and the only way that I can be good is when I'm with you. You know, a good person would have thought when they saw Kyle alive, a good person would have realised that there's an innocent man in prison. Hey, what are you even talking about? James has nothing to do with this. It's got everything to do with James. Because if Kyle is alive, it means that James isn't a murderer. And we both know what it's like to be in prison for a crime we didn't commit. In fact, the guy needs our help. <laughs> 